A Bugatti might mean a big deal to a small group of people. But when you're the guy who plays Ethan Hunt or Pete Mitchell, flying off cliffs in motorbikes and airplanes, what's a Bugatti really? Well, it's a very expensive sports car that has won the 24 hours of Le Mans twice. The Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus, for instance, is the fastest production car in the world with a top speed of 304 miles per hour. That model in particular was up for sale at the start of the year at 4.3 million pounds. Generally, their cars can cost between $3 million to $12.5 million, according to Motor Trend, and Bugatti owners are required to pay $21,000 on yearly maintenance. Owners must also change their tires for every 10,000 miles driven. However, it is not the hassle that stopped Tom Cruise from being banned. Rather it's what happened in 2006 at the red carpet premiere of Mission Impossible 3. When Cruise pulled up to the premiere, he struggled to open the passenger side door of his Bugatti Veyron, and the French car company was not pleased. Katie Holmes, his wife and passenger that day, very briefly struggled to get out of the car, and the embarrassment was seemingly too much for Bugatti to handle. A bit harsh, but Cruz has been banned from buying a Bugatti ever since. Let's be honest though, it feels like the adrenaline junkie would rather get his high from jumping off buildings, instead of driving a car. While he is usually praised for being the biggest daredevil in the film industry, he was once lucky to escape a serious injury after seriously messing up a bike stunt. In one behind-the-scenes look at 2013 film Oblivion. The actor is seen flying up a ramp on a motorbike with the expectation to land perfectly unfortunately, he massively miscalculates the landing and, as his tires hit the floor, he completely loses balance while the motorbike crashes into the ground. Along with the bike, the Top Gun star falls super awkwardly and very narrowly misses getting his legs caught underneath. After the bike tosses and turns, it then cuts to the actor who seems to be a bit too casual about the situation as he says, all right guys, with his hands in the air. But even at 61 years of age, it seems the actor has no plans of slowing down as he insists that the stunts are necessary as part of his storytelling. Tom Cruise has revealed two reasons he made a certain signal ahead of his motorcycle stunt in Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1. The 61-year-old risked death to perform what is considered to be the biggest stunt in cinema history in the latest Mission Impossible movie. However, before he performed the stunt, a total of six times because we all know Cruz is a perfectionist and simply laughs in the face of death, Cruz gave a signal to other members of the cast and crew before riding his motorbike off a Norwegian cliff. But what did the signal mean? In an interview with Fandango, Cruz explains there are two reasons why he can be seen in the movie's behind-the-scenes footage, shaking his head and appearing to exhale deeply before undertaking the stunt. The actor reveals, when it was, okay, I'm going to do this. I did feel that emotion because I didn't know what was going to happen. It was the first day of filming. Look, I've spent years preparing for this. It's not just the years prepping and figuring it out but I've been riding motorcycles since I was a little kid, parachuting, training, constantly developing knowledge, developing technology on how to shoot these scenes. Cruz also notes the pressure of the shot in not just capturing an image, but also in telling a story. So when I was on the ramp I was thinking, we're gonna see how this goes. The second reason Cruz can be seen shaking his head before performing the stunt was to communicate with the camera crew and everyone else involved in pulling off the scene. As that helicopter is going across we had to be in sync because he could have blown me off that ramp so his timing, my speed, had to be perfect. The actor continues. To adjust the camera so, the rhythms of everything we had to do and everything we trained now's the moment where I'm going off the cliff. Cruz notes he also had to call his own action, because they said action but no one went, on top of having to find something where he didn't take his hands off the bike, but that kept within his performance. It was a nod, it was a cue to tell everyone, I'm about to go. Opening square bracket dot 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 closing square bracket. That told the helicopter I'm going. That told the drones I'm going. And so all of that timing came off. Once he performed the signal, Cruz had no choice but to release the bike. Otherwise all of the timings would have been blown. 